Hello, everybody. Um, Jay here in Seattle, Washington. Uh, just a reminder here to, uh, you know, give yourself some grace right now. The world is upside down and we're seeing horrific violence and hearing horrific things on the news every day. Um, take some time to breathe. Take some time to love the people in your life. Um, it's valuable and important that we do that and take care of ourselves uh, because when we do go into the fights and we do go into the arguments, we want to make sure that we're going in healthy and we're not going in tired and afraid because you can lose yourself in that and you can lose your convictions in that and it's easy to say things that you may regret or say things that are hurtful or say things that aren't productive, you know. And it's easy to assume, you know, that's the thing I see that we do a lot with fear is we, we project our fears onto people or even project things that aren't being said. And uh, we assume the worst out of folks. And, and that's really tough, you know. Um, I see a lot of people uh, ass assuming the worst out of people who have uh, genuinely been their brothers and sisters, you know, and worked with them and, 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 and been on their side, if you will. Uh, but assuming the worst when uh, the narrative that they want or expect isn't played out or we aren't playing a part of a particular tribe or something. Um, and I, I worry about that a little bit. I worry about us just assuming the worst all the time. Uh, I don't think that's how we change uh, the world. Um, you know, I, and I'm not saying politicians. I, I, I've lost so much faith in politics and politicians that it's hard for me to breathe sometimes uh, just thinking about that. So I understand it. I understand that we're in a horrible time and it's a scary time and it's a fearful time. And um, it's such, so much violence in the world. Um, but I, I just hope we can keep cooler heads because change has to happen. Like none of us can live like this consistently. The, the, the world cannot exist when we're all on the edge like this and we're all so, so, so horrifically divided. And uh, you know, lack of justice all over the world and lack of justice, in, you know, it has to be changed. I mean, we need to have justice. And so I don't think, you know, I'm not saying we need to have just peace without justice. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is, is take some time to yourself, breathe a little bit, love the people, you know, in your life, give some hugs, uh, encourage folks that you know, and uh, continue to do the hard work. But don't forget to be there with each other. One of the greatest things I learned doing nonviolence work is that usually after a big event that we would do, we would go back and we'd have a debriefing and we'd all sit there and we would talk about what we experienced if it was good or if it was bad, sometimes we'd all be in tears. Sometimes we'd be laughing and telling jokes, but we needed that. We needed that time to decompress. So I just want to make sure everybody's out there is, is, is accepting grace and decompressing and uh, doing our best to, to react out of love and not hate or fear. Um, a lot of us, a lot of you who, who, who take part in revolution left the church because of the infighting and because how we treated each other. And uh, we got to remember to, you know, let's not repeat the mistakes of, 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 of our pasts. And uh, when we're fighting monsters, let's make sure that we don't become those monsters. Um, that would be important. I, that, that, I, I can't remember who said that, but I'm sure someone downstairs, downstairs, <laughs> I'm sure my neighbor downstairs will remember who said that. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I, I hope you guys are doing well, thinking about you, hoping the best for you. And um, I'm just saying, take a little bit of time, you know, find a good book and uh, hug somebody because we've got a lot of work, but this work has got to be good work, not angry, tired, scared work that just will continue to backfire on us and that's not what we need right now we if we want to see change we're going to have to be healthy and ready to uh, move forward and have really tough conversations thanks